Hello, this is Nikki in Niagara coming to you from Niagara Falls, Canada. And today we're going to do a flip through of the latest issue of Molly Makes Living a Creative Life. Now, I, uh, th this is my first issue from a subscription. I've uh, purchased the magazine many times before. It covers all crafts. The center page has uh, papers for uh, scrapbookers and journalers, paper crafters, just kind of like a flow journal, not a flow journal, like flow magazine. And um, I really like the uh, the photographs in here that show decorating your home with your handmade goods. But this is issue 90 and this is the latest issue that I've received here in Canada. This is a British magazine so by the time this airs there may be a newer issue out because of course it takes longer to get to me here. But we got some goodies. Well we always get a goodie but we got extra goodies this time. So before we look at the main magazine proper. Let's take a look and see what goodies we got. First of all, we've got a spring bunny plushie kit. And this includes everything you need to make this embroidered plush bunny, including the stuffing. So I think the only thing you need, oh no, it's even got a needle in it. So there you go. Everything you need. I used to embroider I haven't for quite a while, but this little kit here, it does inspire me. So I haven't opened it yet, so we'll just leave it there. Then this is interesting. This is an extra publication that comes with our book, this our magazine this month. It's 26 pages, and it is Boho Botanical. 44 Easy Spring Updates and Ideas to Inspire. Now, um, this magazine, I don't know about this. I haven't looked through this yet. I did have a quick look through this, and it does have a lot of Easter themes in it, which is already over. But uh, it's spring as well. So here we go. I get the look. Make all these projects. Now, remember, this is a bonus item. And I just... I, the photographs in here are just really nice too. And the paper is, yes, yeah, the same. The paper is just slightly glossy. It's not matte like Flo or Daphne's Diary, but it's nowhere near the quality of uh, North American fashion magazine. It's thick paper, and as I said, it's got a slight, slight glossy sheen to it, but not overly. So here we are. Um, that's just a lovely picture right there. Now, oh, we got a good, we got a good look here. Okay, so uh, looks like my camera needs charging, so I'm gonna have to go through this quickly. All right, so this month we're obsessing about boho botanical and handmade textiles. Really nice. I love the color scheme here of the uh, sage, green, rose, and gray. That's lovely. Natural home style. Crochet cushion. Oh, that's cool. And here's the instructions on how to make the crochet cushion. Uh, a house plant embroidery. That's really fancy. And here we have the instructions for it. A hand dyed runner with the instructions. And we have a ad for the Com magazine. Okay, plant stand set. So here we have some woodworking with the instructions for that. Crochet a jute and raffia basket. That's cool. I used to find raffia at the thrift shops a lot, but I haven't seen it lately, so I haven't been looking for it. 
and we even have baking. So we have the wide range of crafts here, and these are lemon bars. And there's the chart for the crochet cushion. Okay, so let's see if I can get through this magazine in 18 minutes, which is what my camera tells me time is left. All right, so spring blossoms. So I'll just let you look at the imagery and I will speak about the I will speak about the uh, projects as we come up to them. Advertising for not advertising but introducing you to websites. That's really 80s. <laughs> Miami, Memphis. Oh, it's an earring board. Where is it? Well, there isn't a picture of it there. But over the other side here, we have the picture right here. And it tells you how to make this as an earring board. And the template for this is in the back. Okay, here we have a... Um, wall display and this is uses yarn crafts on top of fabric interview with an artist okay paint and press flowers for Easter ornaments. And of course this can be done for spring ornaments, not necessarily Easter. Okay, something on color. Bright bolds to pretty pastels, mood boards. Here we have a fringed skirt with the instructions. Okay, living spaces. I like this. I like this section. Coming next month, it looks like we have some uh, stuffy monsters. Another artist interview. Okay, here we have an arm knit cushion. Clay coasters. Okay, crocheted pot holders, an avocado and an egg, and is that a piece of toast? Uh, oh, this is like a, it's like a Kleenex box, except it's to put your face cloths in. That's cool. Okay, now here we come to the uh, paper section, and this is matte paper, and it's double-sided. So that is gorgeous. Oh, yes. That. Beautiful. Love the swans. Oh, I love the bears. Oh, I really like those. And the water can. So there we go. And those papers are in every issue. Now we have a little outfit for a little girl. Some pants. Some mandalas to crochet. Okay, I got three minutes left. So we got some baking. Uh, a knitted bunny blanket. And then here's all the templates that we need. The instructions to making the bunny in this pack right here. And the templates for the other projects. And there we go. Thank you for joining me, and if you enjoyed this, please give me a thumbs up, and I will do a flip through of next month's magazine when it comes in. Uh, leave your comments down below, and subscribe so you can uh, find out my further adventures. See you next time. Bye-bye!